Today we are heading to Disney Sea. I'm very excited. They were telling me that Tokyo Disneyland was amazing, so I'm definitely gonna have to get some Disney merch, try all of the Disney food, and we'll see how it compares to Disney World because it actually just came from Disney World like a month ago. There's been a lot of Disney in my life. So last night I slept on a floor mattress, which was weirdly enough one of my bucket list items when I was going to Japan. I actually kind of liked it. I have back issues, so I feel like sleeping on a hard floor is kind of good for it. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to get rid of my mattress at home. All right, gang, let's head out. First order of business, gotta get some ears. Okay, I want this. <laughs> little tiny sweater pants. Oh my god, imagine a little baby wearing these. Just a little tail on the butt. The ears have been bought. We are ready for Tokyo Disney. Bunnies. I don't even know what the name of the character is though. Again, <laughs> with the Easter. <laughs> the view. Wow. I feel like we're not in Disney, you know? I like how there's like different areas and each one has a theme. I think this is my favorite section. <laughs> Aladdin section now. This is so cool. I've heard some great things about the churros here, but look, they're Mickey shaped. I'm so excited. There's also been like different flavors around. Like this is just the regular cinnamon flavor, but I know there's a potato one. Mickey churro. <laughs> Mickey Shea makes it better. I don't know why I find that funny still, even though I've been seeing them all day. It's raining. I'm using the map as a hood because I don't have a hood or an umbrella. It looks good. Yeah, it's kind of it kind of goes with the fit. Alright guys, so I got the potato churro that I was telling you about. It's not Mickey shaped. I feel like I've been lied to. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like potato. I thought it would be more like a tater tot or like a fry. I realized I never showed you the coin purse I got. Look at how cute it is. It's Winnie the Pooh. But these coin purses have been like the biggest thing here. Everyone has them and there's all these cute little characters. Really convenient because Japan uses a lot of cash so you just keep all of your coins in here. Exploring the little pirate ship. The sun is setting and it's so pretty. Disney always manages to hit you with the feels right at the very end. I'm sad, we wanted to do a nice romantic gondola ride in the sunset, but it's closed already. Yeah, they should figure that out. This is like the prime time. Prime time to do it. We want it to be cute and romantic exactly. and ride the gondola on the wall. No, that was my only complaint for the day.
All right, guys, I managed to fit everything into the suitcase. It's so heavy. I don't know how we're gonna travel with it today. We're leaving this Airbnb now. I need to say goodbye to my floor mattress. You are a great time. Goodbye. We're a little nervous about traveling today just because there's so much stuff. Um, and we're gonna have to take the bullet train, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, I think I'm good because I only have the one, but oh. this one over here. Wow. <laughs> Just gonna call you out right now. Yeah, you have the one that's the size of a house, so. At least it's compact, like everything in Japan, you know? It's all squished into one place. You are so rude right now. But there's the two. <laughs> So we have a little bit of time before we have to head to Osaka. So we're back at Disney, Disneyland. So we were at Disney Sea before. Dude, look at this guy's bag. me manages to find some form of bubble tea no matter where I go. This is a tapioca mango drink. Pretty good. Cheers. Tokyo Disney, you were a fun one. But it's time to leave. <laughs> I got oh, that. No. I got that yawn. chill we've just been like catching up on our recharge time but now i'm just gonna head maybe grab some food do a little walking my favorite part about traveling on this trip so far has been like just wandering around and taking walks so we'll see where i end up honestly japan has been like very safe to walk around so it's nice to like explore new places that you don't expect to go to our airbnb is really close to the water so right now i'm just taking a little morning stroll this is so relaxing. Whenever I've been passing by these vending machines, I keep taking a look to see if there's something new because they all have something different. And it's just like a fun little thing to just grab something from a Japanese vending machine. Maybe I'll try this like peach thing next time. I've also been doing these like travel diary picture, but I've been like walking down streets trying to see if there's any aesthetic pictures that I can take. It's been very easy because every street is so pretty. All right, it has started to rain a bit. This is my new favorite place to walk along, just along the water here. Since it's really rainy out, there's not really that many people, so it's very relaxing. Oh, there's like a nice bridge over there as well. Let's go across that bridge and see what's over there. Who even knows where we're going? Hello, good morning friends. It is the next day. Yesterday, as I mentioned, was kind of like a reset day. We were both kind of dead. Today is our big day. We are going to Kyoto, which is so exciting. There's like cute temples and we're going to the bamboo forest. So we're just getting ready to head out now. 
I need to figure out how to get there. I looked it up, but I know that there's a couple of transfers we need to do, so I want to prepare for that. It's going to be a busy day, and I'm pumped. Are you excited? Look how big my hair is. Ooh, volume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're feeling good. Way better than yesterday, yeah. I think. Some rest has helped. Yeah, we were both just like so defeated yesterday. We just <laughs> passed out. <laughs> we didn't even end up eating dinner. I know, I, I like slept. I went to bed at six. I, I fell asleep as well. I no just like way. kind of crawled in and I was like, oh, this feels so good. <laughs> Any Japanese people who are watching this, please tell me if this is like a normal thing. There's these weird birds oh outside of our place. And I actually noticed them at our other Airbnb as well. They're like these huge crows and they make the weirdest noises. And especially since we're at the top floor, when they're on top of the roof, it literally sounds like they're right above us. They're like coming on the balcony and fighting. Yeah. They hit the window. Yeah. And like the noises they make sound human. It sounds like a human's being possessed. It's really not... Like a baby kind of, right? Yeah, it's like, ah! Weird. It's so weird. I've never heard birds like that in Canada. What are y'all feeding the birds here? Because <laughs> <laughs> something's going on and it's not okay. They're like evolving into new species, I think. It's crazy how at the trains they have these women-only sections. I think it's really smart. This is so pretty. We're going to the bamboo forest now and like the smell of the rain is adding to the ambiance. We also passed by a area that smelled like udon so I think today is the day that we have soup. Some sort of ramen. Ramen, udon. I'm surprised we haven't had more of it so far. No, we haven't found places. I know. Well, today's the day. These birds sound way more gentle than the birds that Let's we have. Ramen. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Bamboo. I had my hair curled before and now it's just like completely straight. Like look at mine, it's so deflated I know. and like poofy on this side. But at least you still have volume. Yeah, I had true. to throw on the bucket hat just to shield. <laughs> I'm definitely getting my exercise in today. Oh yeah, did not expect to be full on hiking but thank god I wore my, my hiking shoes. <laughs> This ice cream is called Kremia. Megan claimed that it was like the best ice cream she's ever had, so it's pretty game changing. Megan just asked if I can do the Asian squat, and girl, yeah, of course I can do the Asian Look squat. Look at that. For those of you who don't know, it's when you can squat and the heels need to still be touching. Apparently, like a lot of white people can't they do can. it. We're at the Fushi Inari Temple now, which is like the famous temple with like the orange gates, as you can see behind me. things that are definitely a hike but I don't know we've come too far to go back down the other way so we're just gonna keep going up and see where we end up we found out <laughs> we only went here and there's still all of that we have come to the conclusion that that map has lied to us why we definitely hiked way more than that we must have touched the top and then got lost so yeah and went yeah. to the middle yeah they're just they're just saying that to mess with us. This other mosquitoes are coming out, but I'm sweating, so I can't put my jacket on. But I know oh that gosh, I'm gonna get bit. I just got oh bit. No. Dude, we're let's gonna get feel out it of tomorrow. Right now. <laughs> I'm so we're so annoyed. <laughs> My 
be a little TMI, but I feel very proud of myself. He did a squat, squatty, squatty, yeah, squatty potty. Oh, he's from squatting toilet. I was very worried, but I did it, guys. We made it out, guys. 10 million steps later. Six hours later. A lot of sweat. I'm sweating so bad, and he probably got a lot of mosquito bites, but now the day is ours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to the Pokemon Center. The one in Kyoto, so. It's my first Pokemon Center experience. I haven't been to one yet. I know, I'm excited. Guys, my Japanese transformation has been complete. She doesn't even need it. What do you mean? Fake fan. I don't want the pollution particles in my my system. <laughs> Pokeball. Does it open? I guess they're taped shut so that people like me can't mess around with it. Look at her representing with her Gyarados jacket. And my, look at this too. Oh yeah, oh you're really repping. And your Pokemon trainer shoes. <laughs> I definitely did not expect to spend this much, but you know, when you're in Japan, gotta do it. Okay, Megan found this cute, tiny little curry place. And we ordered some Japanese curry. I feel like all the smallest places in Japan are gonna be the best. All right, it is the end of the night. We just got some snacks from the convenience store, but I'm so tired. We did so much today. I can't believe, like, how much we checked off on the list. What am I even saying right now? Tell them I got fried chicken Cheetos. Oh yeah, Megan got some weird Cheeto flavors. Didn't you get another one, barbecue? <laughs> barbecue, and I got taco Dorito. It's gonna be interesting. I got like these weird juice packs. Oh. They're like meant for kids, but for some reason I felt like having like kid juice. Ew, that sounds gross. <laughs> Stop talking. I think I'm just really delirious and tired right now. My feet are so tired. <laughs> okay, well. Good night, friends. See you tomorrow, next day. Good morning, everyone. It is our last full day in Japan. I'm so sad, but today we are going to Nara, which is like the park with all the deer. This has been the thing that I've been looking forward to the most because whenever I see pictures, it looks so pure. Like apparently the deer bow to you and there's a ton of them around the park. I'm actually bringing my sketchbook with me too because I feel like it'll be cute if I can like draw some of the scenery with the deer, do a couple sketches or something. I feel like it's our first real sunny day here in Japan because it's just been so gray and cloudy for the past week or so. It couldn't have been more perfect that this landed on the day that we we're going to the deer park because I feel like it needs to be sunny and happy for that moment. Yeah, I think we're gonna head out, maybe grab some pancakes or lunch or something we haven't really eaten all morning both of us have just been chilling um because today all we have to do is the deer park that is the itinerary 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 how do you pronounce that that is the agenda for the day <laughs> i'm just gonna give up saying that word i'm wearing a cute outfit today <laughs> while we're waiting for megan to get ready i got these little like juice pack thingies i wanted to try it on camera <laughs> i thought it was so cute like look at the packaging let's try it Whoa, okay, I thought it was gonna be a lot more juice like. You can see the jelly thingy. I think it's gonna be like grape flavored. Oh my god, that's so good. What the heck? I put it in the fridge too, so it's nice and cold. It's like a juice with jelly in it. If you guys ever had like bubble tea with like the lychee jelly and stuff inside, it's like a whole juice pack of them. Oh my god, this flavor is so good too. Very green grape flavored. You know how usually when you have grape flavored things in North America, it tastes like cough medicine? This actually tastes like grape. Mm, so yummy. I feel like a baby, like I'm sucking on my little juice packet. Yum.
at how many there are behind me. This is crazy. We're heading back now, we didn't stay too long. There's no way I would have been able to sit down and sketch. First of all, there was poo everywhere. <laughs> Second of all, there was a lot of human beings as well. And the deer just like moved to wherever people have food and I didn't want to buy the little cookie things because I didn't want to touch them. <laughs> so <laughs> it would have just not been an ideal situation. We want to go back to Dotonbury tonight for dinner because there's so many places to eat. Oh my gosh, you smell that? That's good. So far the cabbage has been a hit. And this drink that um, Megan discovered at Disney, like Cassis Orange, tastes like fruit punch. I feel like it doesn't look as good on camera, but it's like the fluffiest, shiniest rice. Now we're just exploring Doton Bori. Bori. <laughs> Still have yet to figure out how to pronounce it. Just like roaming the streets, taking some cool pics. Wow. Guys, we're getting some nice photos. Yeah, girl, we're good. <laughs> Alright friends, we are back. It was a fun night, the final night here in Japan. I just wanted to wrap up this trip and this, these vlogs. I don't even know how many vlogs this is gonna end up being. But, um, man, how do you even end like a trip like this? There's too much to talk about. I hope you enjoyed following along on my journey to Japan. It's been so much fun. I can't believe how much we did. I feel like I've said this multiple times in this vlog and those of you who know me know that Japan has been my dream travel destination for the longest time. So the fact that I'm here is crazy and I still can't believe it. There's been multiple times during this trip when I've just kind of like looked around and been like, whoa, I'm here. You know? I'm very grateful because this is all because of you like that doesn't go over my head for one second All right, I am delirious and I'm tired and tomorrow we have a long trip ahead of us I have a 13 hour flight Megan has like a nine hour flight We also have like train rides and stuff So I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging much tomorrow since for travel days You just kind of want to like be gross and focus on getting to your destination So I think this might be the end of it unless something crazy happens tomorrow this is gonna be it for the japan vlog i know it's sad if you guys did enjoy these japan vlogs be sure to click that bell button down below to be notified every time i post a new video this is goodbye 
goodbye Japan. It's been a blast. Japan is where it's at, guys. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Love you so much, and I will talk to you in the next video when I am back at home in my own bed. Bye. Say bye, Megan. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys.